Welcome to the fourth and final feature breakdown for Arms Against Tyranny, the upcoming expansion for Hearts of Iron. My name's Peter Nicholson, Game Director, and today we're going to be taking a look at the last major expansion feature coming in Arms Against Tyranny, military industrial organizations. After that, I'm going to take you through some details on the upcoming changes to support companies. But first up, military industrial organizations. Military industrial organizations, or MIOs for short, represent organizations and companies within your country that produce and design military equipment for you. Researching with MIOs is slightly different to before. Now, when you research a piece of equipment, you attach an MIO at the same time. This MIO will provide a bonus to the research speed, as well as conferring on stat bonuses onto the equipment. Should you not be able to attach the MIO when you originally researched the equipment, you can also attach it on afterwards using the relevant XP. In addition to providing research bonuses and stat bonuses to equipment, you can also attach an MIO to a production line. This provides production bonuses, such as increased production speed or reducing the penalty for lacking resources. Leveling your MIO is easy. Every time you use it, you'll gain something called funds. Once you gain a certain number of funds for an MIO, you level up. Once you level up, you can spend that on a new trait. Traits could be anything from stat improvements to production improvements, or even possibly making the research bonus better. Each MIO has a tree made up of traits. These traits represent the progress made by the companies and organizations throughout the war in both production and design. Policies are a special upgrade for your MIO. Once your MIO reaches a certain size, you'll be able to unlock one policy and apply it to your MIO. These provide special unique effects that are generally quite wide reaching, but also provide the return of some fan favorites from old design companies, such as the Coastal Fleet Designer, but also introducing some new things, such as cutting corners, so you can create those T-34s just like the Soviets did. Next up, I'll be going over the support company changes coming in AAT. In Arms Against Tyranny, we're changing uh, support companies quite a lot. Um, we're introducing a new series of statistics that can be applied to support companies through a variety of different sources. Um, in, uh, in previous versions of the game, support companies uh, affected the, the whole division that they were attached to um, with a variety of stats. You could have engineers that affected the entrenchment of the division. You could have um, artillery, which added soft attack. In Arms Against Tyranny, in the associated patch, uh, we're introducing a new sort of stat that effectively allows a support company to have a uh, multiplicative bonus that's scaled by the number of battalions of a specific type. Now, it sounds a bit complicated, of course, but uh, in essence, what this allows us to do is really add a more historical um, component to what support companies are. It allows us to buff them in more interesting ways. and It allows us to give some really interesting modifiers to uh, doctrines uh, and technologies, uh, which accentuate the importance of them uh, in the historical context. We feel that this change is going to affect the balance of the game quite positively. It really allows us to level the playing field between the different sorts of support company that exist right now, uh, and allow us to introduce new mechanics, new contexts, uh, new balance decisions based on arbitrary conditions. This can be technologies, this can be doctrines, um, it can be any combination of those. And by improving some of the support companies in certain contexts, this means you can really find a niche a playstyle niche for the support companies you enjoy using and for the divisions that you enjoy designing. That's it for now, but remember, release is just around the corner. If you pre-order now, you can get the bonus song, The Seki Yevon Polka. But until then, remember to stay up to date on social media and see you soon.